Hello everybody, Alex Voss here. I'm doing another TV course. Today we're doing one on a very unusual subject, the uh, subject of earthing. And as you can see, I have a copper rod that is uh, about nine feet long. That is a typical earth ground that we use for electrical earthing or grounding for electrical circuitry. And you can buy this at any home uh, store like a you know, like Home Depot or Lowe's and they sell it for grounding applications. Now what brings me to talk about this situation is a new medical treatment in naturopathic medicine or whatever you want to call it where earthing is used to uh, heal and make the body more healthy. Now I'm a little bit skeptical on that Basically, it's said that if you take your shoes off and you walk around in the grass or out on a beach, your body connecting to the earth is very healing and healthy and allows you to detoxify and, and be more healthy. And I'm not actually sure on that theory, but as the theory goes, if you connect your body to earth ground, it's healthy. And so uh, my sister got this earth grounding kit, this earthing kit from uh, Dr. Mercola on the internet. It's basically a rubber pad and what you do is you roll this rubber pad out on, you put your feet on it, but what you do is you connect a wire from that pad to the ground on the electrical AC socket and that is supposedly supposed to earth the pad to earth ground and thereby provide you a connection to earth ground where you can be uh, doing this earthing inside the house and be healthier. I'm skeptical, but I'm following the theory. And so in theory, when they use that theory, connecting to the ground in the AC plug is not necessarily earth ground. That may be AC ground, it may be uh, electrical ground, and if you have a tester and you plug it in and it shows a connection to ground, if the AC wiring is done properly, which is not true for a large proportion of AC connections in homes and so forth, then it would eventually go to earth ground somewhere. But before it got to earth ground, you'd actually be picking up a lot of AC line noise. And so the actual AC ground in many instances, maybe even most instances, could not be considered a really good earth ground for the practice of earthing. And so to carry this theory forward that they are saying be connected to the earth is a healthy thing, I'm suggesting that you use a real earth ground and then what we're gonna do is provide a methodology for connecting it to the earth pad inside the house. And you know, whether or not that does you any good, I don't know, but if the theory holds true, you gotta be connected to real earth ground. Connecting one wire to the ground on the AC socket is not necessarily again going to give you earth ground and as a matter of fact it might just might just be subjecting you to a large no, large amount of ac line hum which is inherently very unnatural and probably not very healthy for you and so you know i'm going to go over the perfect or the best methodology for uh getting a good earth ground and for earthing and for electronic purposes altogether. The first thing is you want to take and you want to drive this pole as far as you can into the ground. Get a nice, you have to get the ground wet and hammer it down. Whatever you need to do to get it as far down into the ground as possible with a hammer by just placing it in the ground and pounding it down until you get it all the way down at least to maybe five, six feet down into the ground so you get a good ground connection. Then what we're going to do in this case is we want to put a clamp on this and connect a wire to it that will then allow have an interface that we can use to plug into the earthing pad which is a whole lot safer than plugging one part of a wire into the ground on your AC socket. One thing you don't know what that ground is or if that's even a ground even if you have a tester it could lie to you and you, you wouldn't have a good earth ground and two it, you know it's a lot better to do it this way and so we're going to do that. We're going to drive this into the ground. We're going to connect the wire to it. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a regular um, AC extension cord right here that we got from Home Depot. And 
I'm going to keep this side to plug into the earth and ground connector that they have on the earth pad from Dr. Mercola. I'm going to cut this end off and then connect all three wires to the earth uh, ground rod so that we have a good earth ground connection free from AC, ho AC noise, which would in theory be the healthiest way to do it. And so I'm going to, we would begin driving it into the ground, then we would connect this wire to it with a clamp, run this end into the house, and we would then uh, go and connect the pad to this and it would be a full earth ground.